Welcome back, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. I know it's a little bit late, it's about 4.30, but I made it to a very special place. You probably don't recognize the scenery, do you? You don't. We're in a very historic, lovely spot. So, I don't know if I'll be able to see when I get further up, show you where I am. But yeah, we're gonna have a good time today. It's about 4.15. This is a really cool spot. I have never been out here on my kayak. I always thought it was illegal or against park policy because I kept seeing signs that say no boating. But see, I got that confused with uh, kayaks also. And I never saw people out on their kayaks on this lake before. And uh, so you can see where I'm coming from because I didn't know. There I go with the knowledge. I didn't know. Because I also assumed that they meant, you know, boats as in kayaks, everything that floats, basically. But yeah, we're going to have a good time. We're going to talk about some things today, like we always do. Explore out here. I've explored every ounce of land around this Every last bit place. of it. I've seen it all. Except for the waters of eternity. I've never been on the waters of eternity out here. So that being said, the place where I am now, when you see it in a minute, you probably already know. You probably already know it, and you don't even see the main feature of the park. But I mean, now that I'm out here, exploring the waters, looking in, looking down, looking above, feeling the coolness of the water, and looking at the surroundings, I would have now by now covered every square acre just about of this entire park area how about that but yeah let's keep going we're gonna have a good time today see some good things differently for a change at this place recognize where we are now I know it's not that much of a private place. <laughs> I can't act the, the way I want to act, you know, bring the noise to this place, Leonardo style. But yeah, you should know where we are. I'll scroll back in if the sun came out. It's hiding behind some clouds to my left. So uh, yeah, I want to explore those islands over there for the first time ever. That way I'll be able to cover every single square acre of this entire park space. But yeah, you see it right there. I'm on Stone Mountain Lake. Exactly. Yep, I made it Stone Mountain Lake for the first time. I'm out here all the time though, around the park, I am. I've just never, uh, been out on my kayak because I thought you know since I never saw them before and I kept seeing boats I mean signs that say uh, no boating I automatically thought that meant everybody so I just connected the dots like you know solving the code you know just come to that conclusion I guess they mean everybody but I think they changed their policy or something because this is the first summer ever I've ever noticed any kind of kayak, you know, people kayaking on the, on the lake ever. First time ever. But you can't get lost out here. You can't. I'm out here chilling. Hey, there's some lands I haven't explored before because that's the uh, campground and you have to be registered just to get into it. <laughs> I'm not registered. I don't need to come to the campground. I'm not out of state. I do everything Leonardo style. Hardcore. All the way. <laughs> I can't be confined to a camp space. I can't. To a hut? No, I can't do that. No. I mean, camping's cool if you're out of state. Let's say if I was from Georgia, you know, I guess I am. But uh, let's just say what you're looking at is in like Arkansas. Yeah, that'll be cool. I'll take the Winnebago out, hang out in some 
spot, but I have to be, when I go camping, I don't know what you feel about this, but when I go camping, I don't want to be around other people. I mean, I don't want that to be like sound mean or anything like that. Well, so I'm not, I love people. I do absolutely, absolutely adore people. When the time is right, that is. I mean, sometimes I don't feel that great. And I don't, I don't get along with people that well when I'm not feeling well, so I just try to stay away. But when I go camping, I mean, it's real camping. I'm gonna go out around nobody. And I'm gonna be out there by myself, like a survivalist or something. I'm not gonna be in a hut next to somebody else. I mean, I think the closest I'll get to that would be uh, Amicalola Falls and their little their little cabins that are kind of like, you know, they got a few that are like separated from one another, but they're still too close. I think I might, I might do that. But this right here, you got neighbors right next to you. Hey buddy, how's it going? Throw me a Bud Light. That's cool, that's okay for like a, a day or two. But I want to camp out like a, uh, uh, what's that movie? Smith Family, Smith Family Robinson. Yeah, that's the kind of camping I want to do. I want to have some big old, you know, structure up high in the trees, <laughs> away from everything. I hear something that doesn't sound too friendly. It sounds like a boat, and they're headed this way. I think it's that swim with the ducks or whatever they call it. It's not the river boat. You ever been on that thing before? I was on it many years ago. They don't run it like they used to. I don't think they run it. They should. The river boat. Looks nice, doesn't it? Different perspective. I've never seen the mountain at this angle before. That's why I had to get on the waters for the first time, now that I know that we can kayak on the, on the lake. It's not that big. I can cover about six miles in about an hour if I just keep going. I wanna go explore every ounce of the water and all the banks. I wanna go up there and look around, but that's the campground. I don't want anybody come over and be like, are you registered here for the campground, Mr. Da Vinci? Uh, no, I'm not. I came by boat. <laughs> I came by my kayak. Look at how the... Look at how the uh, sun just glistens off the edge of the, uh, the mountain. The slope that I'm yet to even explore. This one... Yeah, don't tell me that guy's gonna get on the island. There's a guy in his little stand-up paddle boat. Looks like he's going to do the thing that I want to do. I don't want to end up sitting there chit-chatting. You know, Mr. T said it best. No jibba-jabba. <laughs> no time for jibba-jabba. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the angle. Look, we have angels up there looking down at us. It's a nice perspective. Yeah. Look at that beam of light coming down from the sky. You get to see a different perspective. Hey, look, right in the middle of the screen. It's the Gris Mill. Of course, we'll have to wait until like 7.30 when the sun is actually on the good side. <laughs> but look at that contrast. How would you like to go explore on that side of the mountain? I mean, on the mountain, not down below, on the mountain. You know, the dangerous way, the real way. <laughs> yeah, that's cool though. Yep. Mm -hmm. You already know. You already know. But I'll be back. I'll be back. Maybe next week. 
maybe tomorrow. I got my suntan lotion with me. I'm not gonna put it on for another 30 minutes. I want that dark tan. I wanna be nice and toasty. Oh, this is cool right here. I feel like I'm in a different state altogether. I do. What I'm looking at now is something I haven't seen ever at this perspective. Well, yeah, that too. But I'm talking about like in front of me. I'm gonna go look at some wood and some rocks that I have never seen before. Even at a far distance, I can't see them. Because you're talking about over there. That's a long way, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have those kind of eyes. Yeah, I have 2013 vision, which is, they said I should become an Air Force pilot. They said I should fly fighter jets at 2013 vision. I was like, yeah, that's a thrill, but no thanks. I got other plans. Yeah, let's go take a look at this. You know, this was all land a long time ago, before they flooded the lake back in like the, I don't know, when was it, the 50s or something? 40s, 50s, 60s, I don't know. But you're looking at something special. You're getting a close up tour of this little island. And we're gonna see some artwork out here. Just taking reference pictures. But yeah, you know all this was land before they flooded it. You know they have animals out here, I'm sure. Because I just passed the rock that had crap on it. They're like small animals. Where do they come from? This island is no bigger than my fist. <laughs> oh, look at this big old boulder. We're on top of a big boulder, but I want to see this piece of art right here before I get out. What do you want to do first? You want to get out and walk around first, or you want to go around with my boat? Oh man, look at this piece. It makes Da Vinci proud right here. Look at that. I can't stop the boat. Yeah, that makes me proud of right there. Man, that's a gorgeous piece right there. See, I'm the sneaky type. I'm the sneaky type of person that I come out here, I'll come out here with a little bit of sandpaper and clean it up, and then I'll paint it a bright color to create some kind of natural piece of art for people to enjoy and see from a long way away and it'll draw your curiosity. It's like a beacon. It'll be just like a beacon to paint it like different colors, like an art piece on it. And people will be curious about what they're looking at. You know, draw the curiosities and they'll come out here in their kayaks and inspect the beauty of it. Maybe I won't cover the whole piece. Maybe I'll just cover a little bit of it. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just saying that's probably what would I, something I would do. To help people understand that there's more to life than just sitting on the banks. Yeah, this little small little island, tiny little place. We'll go around it. It might take about five seconds. But frankly, it just tells you that that was a pinpoint, a top of a hill in the valley below was covered in trees before the lake filled in. Well, you know what they do. They come out and they, they cut the tops of the trees off before the lake level gets too high. Come on, son. You're going to hit us with another thunderstorm when the forecast said it was going to be 90% uh, sunshine all day today. The 
good thing is there's no current out of here. Yeah, what you're looking at is a bunch of clouds in the horizon. And they said it was going to be mostly sunny. There's no clouds in the sky today. Ah, uh, yeah. I told you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Man, are you crazy? Man. So I guess we're not exploring on the island that's about a hundred feet long. <laughs> but I want to get out and stand on these rocks. This big old boulder here. That's cool. It's like its own little bank. Like an like a gravel bar or something. That's cool. Look at this. We're standing on this big boulder. And my paddle's just about to escape from us. Well, I was trying to leave until I noticed this piece right here. This nice, fabulous masterpiece of nature. Let's see if I can maneuver myself. I know I can get out. I don't want to get out, though. I'm cozy, sitting down. But yeah, this piece here, this root system has been molded by the waters. I see gold. It's a nice piece. I approve of it. <laughs> but it doesn't need my approval. There's another piece down here that I noticed. It's right here. Look at this masterpiece. That's why I always love the waters because it does the most perfect things. Yeah, that's a nice looking piece, but it's solid. The stump is underneath that. It's just been covered up by the time. Off to our next destination. Say hello to the old beach area. Why did it close things down like this? This is a state park, a major state park. It's Stone Mountain Park. I don't understand why they do this. I mean, I know why. You'll get the corporate mumbo jumbo. There's not enough money in the budget. We don't see a need for it anymore. There's too many, you know, lawsuits against us because somebody got hurt. But yeah, you can see the, uh, like, uh, I don't know what that is up there. Probably a lifeguard station or something. But it's overgrown now. Google Earth never updates the, their imagery. Well, they do every now and then. They do it in, like, pixels. Yeah. <laughs> Because what drew my interest to this area right here was the fact that this entire area was was sandy. On Google Earth, it was sandy. That's how I always do my initial exploring, is on Google Earth. And it was all sand. I was like, that's a great place to go try to explore. See, look at that. Restricted area, keep out. That's the problem with the human race these days. Everything is so private, you have no freedom. Whoa, look at that turtle. I see him. I see him. Here they come. The news is going to catch me. <laughs> if you want to spend a thousand dollars for helicopter gas just to come out here with your gigantic speakerphone to say you're too close 
Go ahead. Oh, he's a traffic helicopter. He's got a camera on the front. I'm not camera shy. You can put me on camera anytime. Yeah, restricted area, keep out. Oh well. Hey, in one of my videos, I was talking about a miracle. You know, one miracle that I know does exist. There's one miracle that I know for a fact that does exist. It's a funny one though. It's one you probably never thought of. I get this idea every time I go to this area. Not this area, but let's just say downtown Atlanta. I already know where one miracle does exist. Imagine this, you go to Piedmont Park. You know, Lake Clear Mirror, whatever it might be. Imagine this. Imagine what you might find if you dredge the old swimming hole from back in like the early 1900s. I'd say it was a swimming hole from like what, 1880 to like 1930, 1950 maybe? Could have been up to the 1950s, I forgot. But I've always wanted this scuba dive out there. I did. And imagine what you would find in that old lake. Just imagine that. Guess what I just saw? Yeah, there's a golf course. Look at this wall right here. It's a really cool wall, don't you think? But I saw something very peculiar in there. I know these trees are probably about maybe 25, 30 years old. Some hardwoods up in here. It's overgrown in here, but I saw something that looked very peculiar. Yeah, there's the covered bridge right there. We haven't gone too far. It's where that duck boat comes out on. But there's something in here. You can't really see it. I know you can't. But I thought it was a gravestone. There's three humongous quartz rocks that are just not quartz, but they're uh I thought they were headstones, like it's a graveyard. No, I'm not gonna get on it, it's trespassing. I don't wanna get in trouble. I'll give you an idea of what I saw. Sorry, my bad. There's some kind of monuments or something in here. There's three of them. Could this be like a graveyard or something? But why would they put it next to the water? Well, I've, it's probably been here for a long time, but there's one right there. And there's another one. I want to get in there, but it's trespassing. There's one right there. You can tell they cut it up. There's three of them. That looks nice, though. I mean, that one's about 15 feet tall, but it's not taller than the bushes, so you can't see it from a distance. Why do they do this kind of stuff? Why do they make something so monumental and then they just let it go? Yeah. Some kind of monument. I bet they're going to say something like, oh yeah, that's from the Olympics when they had boating out here. They did it back in 96. Okay, well that's cool. Why don't you keep it, uh, keep it kept up? You don't want to get rid of all the history, do you? You did something for a purpose. Did you do it for, to stand out for three months only? Or did you do it to signify something more impressive? Man, I don't know why they do that kind of stuff. <sighs> way the human world I guess let's see I wonder what kind of history is being covered up over there on the golf course yeah you already know it's about two and a half three inches under the grass under the uh, turf <laughs> not the turf but the uh, the sod and up in the woods yep there it goes right there see it's a big secret they're hiding from us As you can tell, we made it to the island. No trespassing signs yet. 
there's a bird that's greeting us. Yeah, contrast is horrible. <laughs> Look at this masterpiece. You don't care. I do. I'm trying to teach you something. That nature is its own greatest abstract and elegant piece of work in its own right. Would you consider all of nature to be abstract? I would, but it's elegant at the same time. Kind of like being good and evil at the same time. But the waters are warm up through here. It's real nice. You know people probably come out here to explore all the time. Here they come. The uh, boat people. What do you call that thing? The ducks? Ride the ducks? We're about to get out and get up on this island right quick and just explore. I think I'll put my kayak at the top up here. But <laughs> there's nothing, I mean, I can't hide or anything like that. We're in a crazy location. Get this old man trying to get out of here. And I'm about to go hit at the batting cages for the first time in five years to show you guys how to really hit the ball. that beautiful scene right there hope you agree with me I gotta be careful now there's no sign up here that says no trespassing but I have to get my kayak up here at a decent size at a decent height that's a cool looking piece right here that's nice I usually try to shoot for one, from one side to the other. I want to go from one side to the other. Oh, look what we have here. Is it a masterpiece? Maybe so. Alright, so we're almost at the end of this one. It's good to explore and just look around, you know. Don't touch too much, just pick up the garbage. That's all I do. Pick up the garbage. I didn't find any old grave sites. No field stones sticking up facing east, east to west, or whatever it is. Well, this island is a little bit bigger than I thought. I think when I get back, I think I'll have to put on my uh, suntan lotion. My face is starting to burn. Somebody was stranded. Yeah. Because we're surrounded by water. So how did deer get out here unless they can swim? Which I know they can. I know they can. I guess that was back in the good old hunting days. What do we have here? Got some Bud Light. Got some Quick Trip. Wonder why they haven't bridged this section yet. Like they have with the covered bridge. To the island, just like this one. But that one over there is like five times the size of this one.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost to the end of this one. This little island. Maybe I'll touch the tree a little bit just to realize that I was able to explore. Imagine this. I mean, imagine if I'm 95. You know, I came to Stone Mountain Park, 95 years old. You know, looked around and realized, I wish I was young again. I should have, uh, I should have explored that island, even though it would have just taken 10 minutes of my time. I was stuck on the lands. I was stuck on the, the banks, wishing I had a kayak. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're almost to the end. We got some beavers out of here. So you're getting a chance to explore around the island in other places. Hope you enjoy the scenery. Yeah. All right. We've got a couple more stops to make, but I don't have enough battery life. I don't. Oops. My leg got stuck. Looks like a beech tree just came down not too long ago. Oh, the waters. Man, look at this. I know it's not important to you, it's important to me. You get to look at something that's cool because you're stuck in your office. And you get to watch this neat little exploration video, the different sides of Stone Mountain Park. There goes the river boat. It's all boarded up. Scarlet O'Hara. Look at all those little boats. Yeah. All right. Let's go back. Yeah, we're about to head back. Yeah, but I had to get in the waters. I gotta feel the warmth of the waters. I always have to get in the waters. You always have to remember that about me. I always have to get into the waters and feel it. Don't you love exploring? I know it's not much. What is this? Official letterbox. Do not remove. Of course I won't. I'll never remove anything like this. Great. A lot of people always have to follow me around. There's people on their kayaks behind me. Let me see what we have in here. Stand above the what is messed up and follow the tax. The tax. Okay. Remember this, people. Direction. I'm going to explore. Combination zero, zero, zero. All right. Well, I can't write anything. That's ingenious. Whoever did this did a good job. I want to sign something, Leonardo, like I always do. Something is running out. Oh, I gotta remember this and try to seek this out. Yeah, went ahead and opened up the uh, Ziploc bag. I'm probably the first human being to record this. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, it's a uh, medieval looking uh, hourglass. <laughs> this is awesome. Awesome find for today. See, this is why I love exploring. 
Shut your mouth over there, garbage. <laughs> One, two, three, family. What can I leave in here? I don't have a pen on me, do I? Maybe I should figure out something else. Yeah, I know what that thing is. It's a stamp. It's an hourglass. Um, 2008? This has been here for a while, people. Celtic cat. 2010. 2011. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a simple game. Chasing tail. Yeah, I bet you are chasing tail. 2016. Okay, we've got two years. That's the last input. The last edition. Is it? Yeah, 2016. I have nothing to sign with this. Sign this with. Except for garbage. I will. I should prepare myself next time I come. Hope you enjoy the movie. Look at that, that's an abstract piece of art right there, photography. Gotta touch that history. Yeah, no, this is like one of those scary clown movies. <laughs> hey, look at the art. Jeez, look at that. Man, talk about abstract. Yeah, I need my DSLR out here. Look at that piece. Hope you enjoy the movie. Gotta touch the history.